hello my friends how are you all doing i'm back with another plan with me video it's a little late this month but you know what they say better late than never so let me start with the quick clip through of april i really enjoyed last month easter theme and if you would like to check it out i'll link it up in the card and in the description below so now it's time for us to move on with my bullet journal setup. The brainstorming process for this month wasn't easy for me. I struggled between flowers and some other ideas. One time I wanted to recreate my last year flower theme and the next I'm all about a new theme. But soon I realized that I have been playing with lots of colors in last few themes. So I wanted to take a break from colorful color palette. I looked for inspirations on the internet and I found these little glass bottles created by Pages by Amy on Instagram. She has the most beautiful feed on the Puja community I have ever seen. So you should definitely check her out. I'll link her Instagram in the description. Big shout out to her. Now this month theme is going to be of course spring related like daisies and these little bottles. By mixing these two elements together, I created this bottle filled with flower filled like imaginary theme and this old pirate flag looking banner seems pretty appealing to me in order to letter me as usual i sketched out the whole thing in pencil and went over with my pigment ink pen in size 0.5 and 0.005 i'll have everything i used here list in the description below Talking about the selecting themes, I know this uh, creative bullet channeling is not for everyone. Some people like it the original way that creator of bullet channel method writer Carol does. Some does creative way and some does in between everything they like. I think it is really up to you to decide what method you like and what works for you. But one thing you need to be clear on is for which purpose you use your bullet journal. Be clear on the purpose will help you to be clear along the path no matter what it is you are trying to achieve. It could be more productive, be more organized, time management and stress releasing exercise or like a mental therapy. What I'm trying to explain here is that you have the power and the opportunity to choose your bullet journaling method on your own terms. So don't get overwhelmed by the artistic side of it or even not the minimalistic side because I know how, how scary a blank page can be. Trust me, I had my own moments. <laughs> Back to the drawings, I have selected a few shades of light dusty brown, a yellow and a green to this palette which is considered through previous months, I would say it is pretty minimal. And I have no idea why did I choose to draw these two particular types of leaves with daisies. I was sort of drawn to these two shapes so I went with the flow. I didn't even search how the daisy leaves looks like. 
well now i'm curious i think i need to do that for my own knowledge i use lightest dusty brown to color this flag thing and of course the drop around the bottle and i wanted to leave daisies white so that i don't destroy the simplicity of the spread i guess and i created this mini calendar in the down right corner Moving on to the calendar page. Since my monthly work list is going to be updated on my working journal, I didn't wanted a lot of space in my calendar. So I decided to go with the one page calendar. By the way, I will be posting how I plan my work journal in another video. So watch out for that. And my task list is going to be under this one page calendar This next page I'm going to be dedicated to the first two days of the month and I will be changing my way of using bullet journal a little bit. I will be talking about this in detail on my next video where I prepare weeklies. I'm sure you're gonna love it. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated when I post my new video. Moving on to the monthly habit tracking spread. So as you can see, I use pretty much the same flag thing like in the cover page to letter the heading, habits, a mini bottle aside from the banner. I used my white gel pen to go over some small details to make them pop a little bit. I think it made the world of difference to the drawing without too complicating them. Next, I'm drawing mini calendars to track my habits. I had to say, after all these drawings, I had serious cramps in my wrist, but looking at the final results, I think I get over it instantly.
next to the habit tracking page of course the mood tracking page so now you know the drill same header pattern and same colors to be honest it seems like i always enjoy my creativity on my mood tracking page too much i tend to create a bit more detailed drawings in the mood tracking page since last few months i cannot express enough that satisfaction i feel after looking at the spread at the end of the month how my moods have been contributed to the drawing it's always amazed me you know like in a creative kind of way These daisies are going to be representing an each day of the month and I will be coloring them according to my mood of the day. As the final touch I added some small stars, dots and little scribbles to the drawings which gave it a magical effect in my opinion. So that's pretty much the spread I created on this video. Let's see the final flip through. Those who are new here, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell if you enjoyed this video. And please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. As I mentioned, I will be posting my weeklies and uh, work journal setup in the next video uploads. So stay tuned for that too. And that's it for today. I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay happy, stay safe. Bye-bye.